Hey guys, it's me, Ego here. Hi. Hello. Summer is here, and the weather's been heating up each day under the bright sun. It's actually getting quite hot already. While it does feel really good basking under the warm sunlight, as you're enduring yourself under the intense sunlight, your skin may become red or itchy at some point. These symptoms are a precursor to sunburn, and if it gets worse, it'll be accompanied by blisters and erythema. But what is a sunburn? A sunburn is the inflammation of the skin when exposed to excessive UV rays. Symptoms usually appear 4-6 to six hours after exposure to UV rays. The skin begins to turn red, after which the skin swells and it'll continuously feel hot, burnt, and itchy, and in severe cases, blisters may form and the skin may start peeling. Melanin is a pigment in our body that protects the skin from UV rays, and the lower the amount of the skin protecting melanin there is, the higher the risk of a sunburn. So people with fair skin which have less melanin is said to require special care. As mentioned before, sunburn is accompanied by pain and blisters in severe cases, so if these symptoms are severe, it's best to go to a hospital immediately. In the case of light sunburns in which the skin is only reddened with no blisters, can be adequately managed at home. So today I'll be talking about how we can take care of light sunburns burns at home. If you've been exposed to an excessive amount of UV rays over a long period of time, you may not notice it at first, but after a few hours, your skin may become red and itchy. So if you happen to notice any of such symptoms, it's best to take care of them right away. First of all is that the reddened skin should be treated after the heat on the skin has been reduced, but ice packs should be avoided. When you use ice packs, the temperature will drop sharply, which can cause reverse burns. Therefore, rather than using an ice pack, the first step is to cool the sunburned area by applying physiological saline or by placing the area under running water at a temperature of 15 degrees for at least 10 minutes. When the heat has cooled down, you can now treat it, and it's said that aloe gel is great for reducing heat and soothing. While you can keep your aloe gel in the refrigerator to use it cold, covering the area with thin gauze or plastic wrap after applying on aloe gel is said to be more effective. In addition to the popular aloe gel, there are also other products that are great for lowering heat and soothing. And I've brought two of such products which are effective in cooling and soothing the skin. They are Innisfree's Jeju Lava Sea Water Essence and Laneige's Water Bank Hydro Cream EX. Both products are more effective when stored in the refrigerator. Both products have a very light gel formulation, so they are good to apply lightly on the skin, and since they feel cool on the skin, they are also good to use on the skin that feels heated. In addition, since they are light to use and has lots of moisture, they are great products for all skin types from combination to dry skin. Innisfree's Jeju Lava Sea Water Essence is said to be a refreshing gel which contains Jeju Lava Sea Water Salt which is effective for calming the skin temporarily heated from external stimuli and Laneige's Water Bank Hydro Cream EX is said to be effective in reducing skin temperature and maintaining moisture. Since the two products are not the same cream type, I think it may be good to use both products together when you're in need of soothing and cooling. After cooling and soothing the skin, it's time to move on to aftercare. Aftercare is just as important as cooling and soothing care. I have here with me the Lab by Blangdu's Green Flavonoid 2.5 Pad and Nutristorm's LED Mask Class Nutrition Night Mask. Both products have excellent moisturizing, nourishing and soothing effects, and are products that's recommended for all skin types as they can be safely used even for sensitive skin. Since the Lab by Blangdu's pad is very thin, I personally find that using it as a pack to be more effective than as a wipe. It takes care of skin troubles and revitalizes tired skin. It also works to help keep the skin healthy, providing an even better soothing effect as well as a better vitalizing effect. I had a chance to try Nutristorm's LED Mask Class Nutrition Night Mask previously, and after trying it out, I felt that my skin texture got clearer and the tone getting brighter, so I really wanted to recommend it to you guys. Even though Nutristorm's Night Mask is a jelly fit sheet, since it contains a lot of essence, it doesn't feel tight at all over time, so I think this mask pack itself alone is sufficient for home care. The 97.8 Nourishing Storm Moisture Essence Night Mask not only improves facial redness, but also improves skin radiance, elasticity, moisture, and soothing effects. Like this, I've shown you how you can care for sunburns on the face, but since sunburns can occur not only on the face but on our body and even scalp as well, I'll go over body and scalp care as well. As for body care like our face, you'll first have to cool your skin down with saline or running water at about 15 degrees Celsius before proceeding in the same manner. The first product I'll use after the skin has been cooled is Not For Use Clear Mist which is effective in soothing and has an anti-inflammatory effect. It's said to be a product that kills trouble bacteria, takes care of skin surface, makes the skin moist, and forms a strong moisturizing film. 
This product is said to not only soothe the sensitive skin of the body, but also takes care of acne and troubles on her back and chest. Personally, this is great for when you're feeling too lazy to apply on a lotion. But above all, what I think is even better is that not only is it good for soothing and moisturizing, but it also takes care of troubles on the skin. The product to be used as the next aftercare product is Ilian Ceramide Add-on Lotion, which is effective in supplying moisture. As a soothing moisturizing care lotion for sensitive skin, it has a soft and refreshing texture. Although it's hypoallergenic, it has deep moisturizing and soothing effects so you can comfortably care for your sunburned sensitive skin. It's said to be a body lotion that can be used by anyone regardless of age or gender and it's fragrance-free, free of a specific ingredient and has been tested for hypoallergenic and has even completed sensitivity panel test. Since it's a mild product, it's said that it can be used not only on the body but also on the face for moisturizing care. Now I'll move on to scalp care. Like our face and body, our scalp should also be cooled down with a saline or under running water at about 15 degrees Celsius before treatment. When the scalp has calmed down, the time for epidermal peeling approaches. At this time, it's recommended to use a scaling shampoo to take care of the skin cells. I brought Aromatica Rosemary Scalp Scaling Shampoo. This product is said to be a vegan formula that excludes not only sulfate-based surfactants but also silicon oil and animal ingredients. It's said to contain rosemary, which helps the care of dead skin cells on the scalp, BHA, a fat-soluble exfoliant, which gently cleanses the old dead skin cells on the scalp every day and effectively removes waste that clog pores on the scalp to create a clean scalp base. Next, I brought Hair Plus' Old Fresh Deep Purple Scalp and Hair Pack for soothing and cooling care. Actually, I've used this product before and after using it at that time, I've come to really like it. It's a product with excellent sebum improvement, scalp moisture improvement, and redness relief effects. I personally felt that this product was very effective in calming the sensitive scalp when used. This product introduced now is actually a renewed product. Personally, I like the original version more than the renewal version, but still, if you want me to recommend a scalp pack that is effective in calming the scalp, I definitely want to recommend this product. It's good to take care of the scalp that has become sensitive from sunburn, but sunburns also damage hair, so it's best to create a protective barrier by using a hair mist, oil, or essence to take care of the health of your hair. I brought Lador's Keratin Power Glue Essence Protein Hair Essence that quickly takes care of damaged hair with strong proteins. It absorbs quickly, delivering powerful moisture and protein to damage and rough hair to provide immediate care. After washing your hair, apply it evenly to your hair and just leave it on. It's not required to be rinsed off. My hair is quite damaged because I often dye and perm it. The damage is now so bad, my hair doesn't even absorb much hair essence. But since this product delivers protein into the hair, my hair gets smooth all day long. It's also recommended for those with dry and damaged hair due to frequent hair treatment like myself. Like this, I've introduced you how to care of your face, body, scalp, and hair that has become irritated and damaged by the sun. In addition to redness, a burning sensation, or peeling skin, people with sufficient amount of melanin may find their skin tanned and darker. In such a case, these people do not need to cool their skin with saline or lukewarm water. But as the skin may feel heated or loosened due to the heat, it's probably best to provide your skin with cooling and moisture. And from the products I brought today, when your skin is in need of cooling and hydration, I recommend using the Let by Blangdu's Green Flavonoid 2.5 Pad as a skin pack and then followed up by applying on Innisfree's Jeju Lava Sea Water Essence and then Laneige's Water Bank Hydro Cream EX. And when you want your skin to feel sufficiently moisturized, I recommend applying on Innisfree's Jeju Lava Sea Water Essence and then apply on Illyun Ceramide Adult Lotion. But if you find all these steps to be too much of a hassle and are looking for something that can deal with everything at once, I recommend using Nutristorm's LED Mask Class Nutrition Mask for Brightening. While soothing, brightening, and skin regenerating effects are also important, I urge you that you do not forget to first care for your skin by cooling it down with saline or running water at about 15 degrees Celsius first, and the aftercare, which is the last step, to provide rehydrate and replenish your skin's moisture. So my video is still here. Thank you for watching my video today. Don't forget to subscribe, press the like buttons, and please leave some comments for me. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.